Friday, friends. So today I am working on decorating my lantern for St. Patrick's Day. And I've already gone ahead and pulled off all of my Valentine decorations that were on the lantern. So it's all plain and ready to be decorated. So I'm gonna show you the supplies that I am going to use to decorate for St. Patrick's Day. So first I've got one of these small white square trays. I've used these before when I've decorated. I actually used the next size up from this one for my Christmas scene. Um, I also picked up this green St. Patrick's Day bow and I got this from the dollar store. It's just got like an elastic on the back so I think it's almost like a headband. I'm gonna use that in my decoration. I've got two of these St. Patrick's Day um, carnation, green carnations with the gold and then the little um, gold coins on them. I actually took a couple of the flowers off and used them in other decorations, but I'm going to work with what I have left here. Um, these are those green berries that I used in my Valentine display, and I'm going to reuse those for St. Patrick's Day. And then there was a little bow that came with it also, so I might use that little bow. Um, I have some of these foam glitter shamrocks, and again, these all came from the Dollar Tree. There's two different colors, a light colored green and a dark green. And then this garland, this 25 feet of shamrock garland. The garland and this bow right here didn't come from the Dollar Tree. They came from another store called Just a Buck, which is another dollar store that I have in my area here. Then I've got my three white candles, which I am going to use again, and some hot glue. And we are just about ready to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to take some of this shamrock garland that I have right here and I am going to hot glue just a little bit of it around the border of my tray. Now we have a good layer of the shamrock garland all the way around our tray. Okay, so now we are going to start decorating the top of our lantern and so I'm going to be using these two um, picks of green carnations with the gold on the ends and I've actually pulled off a couple of the carnations and used them in other projects so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these foam glittered um, shamrocks and I'm gonna take two for each stem and I'm gonna just glue the stem to the shamrock on one side and then glue another shamrock to the other side so that there's these like little shamrocks on the stems as well. Okay, so I'm taking my two little shamrocks and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on one of them. It's kind of up the center. And then I'm gonna take my little stick piece I'm just gonna do a couple more dots of glue just to stick the back side of the shamrock to it. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the little branches that don't have anything on it. So now we've got this little shamrock on one of the branches and I have the same same on another branch. I have another branch that's missing one of the flowers. So I'm going to do the same thing but with the lighter colored shamrock this time because there's two colored shamrocks. I'm going to use the lighter green for this next one. All right so I also picked up two more of these little um, carnations and these ones are a little different. These ones are white and they have little shamrocks on them. Um, so I picked up two of these. These were the only ones that I could see that they had left um, at the dollar store. So I'm going to use these in my decoration as well because I thought I needed a little bit more floral than what I had right here. Again, I'm going to use these green berries and I use these green berries in my Valentine lantern and I'm going to do much like I did with the Valentine lantern. Okay, so I'm going to take these berries and I'm going to put one on one side of my lantern and I'm going to put another one kind of down on the other side of the lantern so that it kind of, they kind of drape down the top of the lantern just like that. And now I'm gonna take two things of the white carnations. All right, so what I'm gonna do with these guys, I'm going to kind of lay this flat against my 
um, the top of my lantern, kind of flat and upside down. And then I'm gonna just bend up some of these carnations so that they are sticking upright like this. I'm basically just, you can fool around with it however you want after, but I'm just making them so that they kind of sit upright. You can see rather than being facing down, they're gonna face up. And I'm gonna do that for both of my carnations, which I've already done the other one. And then I'm gonna lean the other one up on the other side so that it looks kind of like that. All right. Now I'm gonna take some more of my, my shamrock garland that I have here that I put around the base. So here's more of my shamrock garland and I'm gonna just use this to hold this whole thing in place now. So I'm gonna kind of wrap it underneath And I'm gonna wrap it, probably wrap it around once or twice, just to kind of hold this whole thing in place. And then I'm gonna twist. And you can adjust these. Like I said, you can adjust them as you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with my other carnations that I have here. And these are the ones that I added the little shamrocks to. And I'm gonna stick these right down, kind of in the top. Again, we can play around with this, but I'm kind of just sticking them right down in between the branches that we have here. Bending the little branches so that it makes a nice full look but without having them stick straight up. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this for just a few minutes and kind of arrange them. And then as soon as that's done, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so what I went and did was I just went ahead and attached this bow that came from the dollar store as well. And this was like a headband almost. So what I did was I took the elastic, I wrapped it around like down underneath and then around the bow itself. You can see the elastic right there. So that elastic is just kind of holding that bow right in place and so now i'm going to go back in and i'm going to take some more of this garland and i'm going to kind of just mix this garland right in and around the rest of the um, floral so i'm just going to just take a few pieces and just kind of like wrap it in and around i'm just kind of like going like up and around the flowers so i just kind of wrapped mine kind of all around in the top of that um, floral arrangement just to kind of give us some extra little pop of that bright green that the shamrocks give off. All right now lastly what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little bow that came off of the little bell um, thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. I used the bells on a different um, DIY but I'm gonna take the little bow off of it because I like the colors and I'm actually just gonna hot glue this right to the front of the other bow that I have just to kind of bring in that like bright uh, lime colored green that we have like in this other shamrock right here so I'm just gonna put a little hot glue on the back and I'm literally just going to stick it right to the front of the other bow that we have and that's just gonna about do it I'm gonna bring this downstairs and set it up on my coffee table in my living room because that's where I like to keep my um, lantern and we'll show you what it looks like when it's down there and all ready to go so here it is, it's all finished, and I decided to put it in my front window rather than on my coffee table, because I liked how it looked next to the chairs that have the little scarfs wrapped around the pillows. Um, but here's the lantern, I think it came out really cute. And what I ended up doing was I put some more of those shamrocks on the white tray and then just placed the candles on top of the shamrocks, just so that there's a little bit more green on the actual tray. So this is it, very festive for St. Patty's Day. I don't do a whole lot of decorating in my house for St. Patty's Day, but I thought this was nice because it's right in my formal living room when you first walk in my house. So you kind of see this when you first walk in. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little DIY. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Facebook page, The Pixie Dust Housewife. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care.